Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, 8.52 in the evening on Tuesday, Tuesday, May 4th, 2021. Tuesday, May 4th, 2021, 8.52 in the evening. And um, we've got that uh, very strong earthquake going to be hit in the next, uh, in the next 24 hours now. So let's uh, look at that right now. First of all, let's look at some of the quakes that have hit. Uh, we're doing a little bit different format and we we're trying to use uh, maps and graphs and different formats to be able to describe what's going on around the world. I think this is a good way to do it right now is a, um, a method of uh, putting all the cities around the world that we forecast and then the risk level in comparison with each other. So uh, first of all, let's look at this quake here. This is uh, in uh, just west and southwest of Santiago, Chile, a 4.7 hit. And the risk level today, May 4th, was at 93%. And then you look at this one here in Japan. Uh, we said it was a 4.9. Japan says it was a 5.3 earthquake that hit just northeast of Tokyo. And of course, their time is, what, about 12 to 14 hours ahead of us. So they were in May 5th. And the risk level was maxing out in Tokyo when this 4.9 or 5.3 hit northeast of Tokyo. And now you can see for tomorrow, uh, we still, let's look at the, uh, the one for today yet. Guatemala is still very high risk in Guatemala and Chile remains high right now. Uh, Lima, Peru and Costa Rica. And then tomorrow, May 5th is when everything breaks loose in California. Uh, the risk is very high near Los Angeles and Santa Clarita. Uh, of course, Tokyo is high right now as well. And uh, Naples, Italy, and Istanbul, also very high risk. But let's go to the, uh, the actual forecast map. I think it's up here. Yes. So you can see from Southern San Francisco Bay all the way to, to uh, Northwest LA, there's a very high risk area here. And the highest risk is somewhere between there, between maybe in Coalinga or along Parkfield. Um, but it could happen anywhere just northwest of LA to just southwest of uh, San Francisco and San Francisco Bay. So between San Francisco Bay and LA on, uh, what well, could happen tonight too, but most likely on May 5th, uh, a very strong earthquake is likely. And major earthquake is not out of the question. It's also possible on, uh, on May 5th. So um, you can see this, uh, the graph here, it's peaking in San Francisco as well as LA. And uh, this is when it's gonna happen right here. May 5th, the risk goes up to 98% in Los Angeles and Santa Clarita. That's the uh, most likely spot for this earthquake to hit is just northwest of Los Angeles. But as you can see in the map here, the risk extends from San Francisco Bay all the way down to LA. Um, let's look at the, those risk levels again. For today, the uh, risk level is at 69% in Salt Lake City, Reno, Nevada, 67, Ridgecrest is 62. And then tomorrow, the risk, uh, risk uh, jumps up to 98% in Los Angeles and Santa Clarita. And Ridgecrest and San Diego are also high at 83 and 82. So we will see. Uh, this map and this forecast model says uh, somewhere in the Parkfield area, Parkfield, Coalinga. And the other graph data says uh, somewhere northwest Los Angeles. And the map that we showed you a couple of days ago was having it right over San Francisco. So it's going to hit somewhere between San Francisco and Los Angeles, and most likely right in the middle there. But be on alert in California, very strong earthquake is likely in the next 24 hours, most likely on May 5th. So we'll keep you updated. We're uh, trying different forecast models and different forecast maps and different forecast graphs as well, but definitely a strong or major earthquake tomorrow, May 5th, 
in California. Stay safe, and we will talk to you again tomorrow after the earthquake.